What's up, YouTube? Thanks for checking out Talk Black to Me Radio. I want to give a shout out to all my recent subscribers. I appreciate y'all and all the comments. Do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. So let's jump right into it. If you haven't heard already, the famous rapper Casanova has been indicted in a huge crackdown against the Gorilla Stone Nation Bloods. The feds answered an indictment last week that charged a total of 18 people, including Casanova. The government alleges they have a multitude of evidence that implicates the members indicted. After taking a look at the indictment, it seems as if the Gorilla Stone Nation has been under surveillance since as early as 2010. All right, now, the indictment itself is pretty long. It's a total of 32 pages, to be exact. But we'll skip to the parts that mostly reflect on Casanova, which is very little, I might add. It seems most of what they have on Casanova is word of mouth and loose texts. They mostly talk about his open charges and stuff that he's already served time for just to justify their theory. Now, what also messed this guy up is when Takashi 69 was arrested and he turned state's evidence. He spoke about the rap beefs he had, which included a shootout between 69 and Casanova that happened at the Barclays Center in New York. In the indictment, the feds talk about the robbery charge where a woman was knocked unconscious. They also revealed that they went into his iCloud account and saw pictures of firearms, which show his continued access to weapons. And lastly, but not least, um, they have iMessages and Instagram DMs that incriminate him and others in a large drug operating scheme. All right, so let's jump right into the indictment. So um, here we got United States of America versus the Gorilla Stone Nation Bloods. There was 18 people charged in the indictment. We're going to be focused on Casanova and what he was charged with. So let's take a look. All right, so let's take a look at count one. So the grand jury charges the enterprise, and we're not going to read all of the names. We're going to skip over that, but we'll mention uh, Casanova, all right? So at all times relevant to this indictment, Caswell Sr., a.k.a. Casanova, and others known and unknown, were members and associates of the unto untouchable Gorilla Stone Nation, Gorilla Stone, or the Enterprise, a criminal organization whose members and associates engaged in, among other activities, acts involving murder, robbery, fraud, and the distribution of controlled substances. Gorilla Stone operated in and around Manhattan, the Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, and upstate New York. Gorilla Stone, including its leadership, its membership, and its associates, constituted an enterprise as defined by Title 18 United States Code, Section 1961. That is a group of individuals associated, in fact, although not a legal entity. The enterprise constituted an ongoing organization whose members function as a continuing unit for a common purpose of achieving the objectives of the enterprise. At all times relevant to this indictment, the enterprise was engaged in and its activities affected interstate and foreign commerce. All right. Caswell Sr., a.k.a. Casanova, <coughs> participated in the enterprise and participated in unlawful and other activity in furtherance of the conduct of the enterprise's affairs. Members and associates of the Gorilla Stone engaged in a series of violence disputes with rivals of Gorilla Stone, including those within Gorilla Stone who they deemed disloyal to the enterprise. During these disputes, members and associates of the Gorilla Stone committed murder, shootings, robberies, and assaults against their rivals and against fellow members of Gorilla Stone. 
Members and associates of Gorilla Stone sold crack cocaine, cocaine, and marijuana in and around Manhattan, Brooklyn, the Bronx, Westchester County, and upstate New York. Members and associates of Gorilla Stone committed and agreed, attempted, and threatened to commit acts of violence to protect and expand their narcotics business, to protect fellow members and associates of the enterprise, to otherwise promote the standing and reputation of Gorilla Stone amongst rival gangs, and to promote the standing and reputation of members of Gorilla Stone. These acts of violence included acts involving murder, robbery, and assault, intended to protect the enterprise's narcotics narcotics business and to retaliate against members of rival gangs who had encroached on the enterprise's narcotics business. Purposes of the Enterprise The purposes of the Enterprise included the following. Preserving and protecting the power, territory, and profits of the Enterprise through acts involving murder and other acts of violence and threats of violence. Promoting and enhancing the Enterprise and the activities of its members and associates. Keeping victims and potential victims in fear of the Enterprise and its members and associates through acts of threats and violence. Providing assistance to members and associates who committed crimes for or on behalf of the gang. Enriching the members and associates of the enterprise through, among other things, robbery, riot, wire fraud, and the distribution and sale of narcotics, including crack cocaine, cocaine, and marijuana. And last but not least, um, protecting the enterprise and its members and the associates from detection and prosecution by law enforcement authorities through acts of intimidation and violence against potential witnesses to crimes committed by members of the enterprise. The means of methods and production, means of methods of the enterprise. Among the means and methods employed by the members and associates in conducting and participating in the conduct of the affairs of the enterprise were the following. Members and associates of the enterprise committed, conspired, attempted, and threatened to commit acts of violence, including acts involving murder, to protect and expand the enterprise's criminal operations and against rival gang members. Members and associates of the enterprise used threats of violence and physical violence against other members and associates of the enterprise to enforce, maintain, discipline within the enterprise. Members and associates of the enterprise committed, conspired, attempted, and threatened to commit acts of violence, including acts involving murder and robbery against rival gang members and other individuals. Members and associates of the enterprise promoted and celebrated in music and on social media the criminal conduct of the enterprise, namely narcotics distribution, acts involving violence, and the use of firearms. Members and associates of the enterprise obtained, possessed, and used firearms. Members and associates of the en and associates of the enterprise distributed controlled substances, including crack cocaine, cocaine, and marijuana. Members and associates of the enterprise committed and conspired to commit wire fraud by fraudulently obtaining benefits from relief programs meant to assist small businesses in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, fraudulently attaining unemployment benefits, and conspiring to fraudulently use funds related to a Section 501c charitable organization operated by members and associates of the enterprise. From at least in or about 2010 to the present, the, in the Southern District of, the, of the New York and elsewhere, Casanova and others known and unknown being persons employed by and associated with the enterprise described in paragraphs 1 through 7 of this indictment, namely Gorilla Stone, which enterprise engaged in and the activities of which affected interstate and foreign commerce, knowingly combined, conspired, confederated, 
and agree together and with each other to violate the racketeering laws of the United States, to which section 1962C of Title 18, United States Code, that is, to conduct and participate directly and indirectly in the conduct of the affairs of the Gorilla Stone through a pattern of racketeering activity, as that term is defined in Title 18, United States Code, Section 1961-1 and 1961-5. And that's consistent of multiple acts involving murder, chargeable under the following provisions of law. And multiple acts of robbery, chargeable under follow provisions of state law. Let me skip over all of that. All right. Yeah, let's skip on down to the part where they charge where they charge Casanova. I think he's in count thirteen. That's when he pops up again. That's a long indictment family. All right, here's count thirteen. The grand jury further charges from at least in or about 2010 up to and including the president in the Southern District of New York and elsewhere. Caswell Sr., a.k.a. Casanova, others known and unknown, intentionally and knowingly did combine, conspire, confederate, and agree together and with each other to violate the narcotics laws of the United States. It was in the part of an object of the conspiracy that Caswell Sr., a.k.a. Casanova, and others known and unknown, would and did distribute and possess with the intent to distribute controlled substances in violation of Title 21, United States Code, Section 841A1. The the controlled substances that Casanova... Um, a.k.a. Caswell Sr., conspired to distribute and possess with intent to distribute were 280 grams and more of mixtures and substances containing a detectable amount of cocaine base in a form commonly known as crack cocaine in violation of Title 21, United States Code Section 841B1A, and five kilograms and more of mixtures and substances containing a detectable amount of cocaine in violation of Title 21, United States Code, Section 841B1A, and 100 kilograms and more of mixtures and substances involving a detectable amount of marijuana in violation of Title 21, United States Code, Section Section 841B1. Okay, so count 14, they charge um, with possession of a firearm in furtherance of a drug trafficking crime. The grand jury further charges between in or about 2010 and November 2020 in the Southern District of New York and elsewhere. Caswell Sr., a.k.a. Casanova, during and in retaliation to a drug trafficking offense for which they may be prosecuted in a court of the United States, namely the Nucart Narcotics Trafficking Conspiracy charged in Count 13 of this indictment, knowingly did use and carry a firearm and, and in furtherance of such drug trafficking offense, did possess a firearm, and did aid and abet the use, carrying, and possession of a firearm. So as you can see, family, Casanova and the Gorilla Stone Nation Bloods got a lot going on, man. This this indictment had a lot of information in it. Um, My prayers goes out to Casanova and their family and friends and the family and friends of everybody else involved in the indictment. Um, I hope everybody everybody can make it through this and they come out on top, man. So thank you for tuning in to Talk Black to Me Radio. I appreciate y'all, man. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notification button, man. Peace.